Greetings from Georgian American University. Today's topic of discussion is to highlight the specific aspects of medical education in Georgia. For that, we have our dear guest, uh, the Vice Dean of Medical School of Georgian American University, George Gavisonia, MD, MPH. Uh, Dr. George, uh, what type of opportunities does GAU provide for our medical school graduates? First of all, thank you for the introduction. Um, as you well know, our MD program at Georgian American University is internationally recognized by the World Federation of Medical Education. Hence, our students have opportunity to continue their medical education all around the world. For example, if they wish so, they can apply to USMLE exams and continue their practice in USA, or they can apply for club exam and continue their medical practice in UK. Um, GAUMED School provides great opportunities for international uh, career development, but what if students want to pursue their careers in India? Thank you very much for the question. Of course, it's a very important topic. Uh, as you all know, the medical education in India is regulated by the National Medical Commission, the NMC, which guarantees the quality of the medical staff in India. Uh, you mentioned the recognition of NMC. Uh, and as far as I know, the uh, major requirement is for the graduate to practice medicine in the country where the diploma was attained, right? Yes, thank you very much for the question. And that is one of the most important issues, which has been a uh, parts of debates and misunderstandings for the last couple of years. In order to clarify the issue fully, we need to uh, discuss a bit about the Georgian laws and regulations which uh, govern the medical education. Uh, the main document which regulates the uh, higher medical education in Georgia is the National Sector of Benchmarks for Higher Education in Medicine, mm -hmm. which is a uh, mandatory document for all the medical schools to follow. And one of the areas which the sectoral benchmarks uh, regulate is the potential uh, opportunities for our medical students to practice, for our graduates to practice. And one of such opportunities, one of such fields is a junior doctor. Now, in order to understand what a junior doctor is, we need to discuss another law, which is the uh, National Law of Georgia on Medical Practice, which uh, highlights the uh, which highlights the fields of responsibilities for, of a junior doctor and explains that a junior doctor can practice without any additional licensing or without any additional examination outside those which he or she has undertaken at the university under the supervision. Mm -hmm. Um, Dr. George, thank you very much for providing very important information for our students. Uh, as mentioned, our guest was the Vice Dean of Georgian American University's Medical School, George Gavisonia, MDMPH. Thank, thank you, you very, very much for your time. <laughs>